When you turn on a tap, the water will have flowed through miles of plumbing to reach it. Plumbing is important in chemistry too, with lots of pipes and pumps required to get the right chemicals to the right place at the right time. Often it's useful to shrink this down into a tiny lab on a chip. We can use smart chemistry to grow tubes as narrow as a human hair. With these, we can do microscopic plumbing. We do this by taking a crystal that contains billions of negatively charged fragments, and we immerse it in a solution containing positively charged molecules. When these combine, due to their electrostatic attraction, they produce a solid material that grows continuously as a tube until the crystal is completely dissolved. To make a useful device, we have to guide where the tube grows. We do this using a laser, which we control from an iPad. By moving the finger on the screen, we can move the laser spot. This means that we can draw the pattern that we want, quite literally pulling the tube around with our fingers. This works because of convection currents. It's exactly the same thing that happens when hot air rises beside a radiator. Here, the laser heats up the dye molecules in the solution. The hot dye solution rises, causing a flow towards the laser spot. This pulls the end of the growing tube towards the laser. We can also start a new tube growing out the side of an existing one to make a T-junction. We use a micromanipulator to inject into the tubes. Here, we're using it to flow in differently coloured dyes into the two inputs of a Y junction. To avoid leakage, and to make it easier to connect to the outside world, we grow the tubes from the end of a very narrow glass needle. We can start the tube growing with the laser, and then pull it out into the device that we want. The idea is that by having several such needles, we can create junctions and we can build up complicated chips from a simple starter kit. Our hope is that this will make micro plumbing as easy as finger painting.